Hi there folks, welcome back to Mossy Roots Farm. So, I want to talk theoretical about my perfect system for mixing grain. This works great, except I have to manhandle every pound of food from there into the mixer, and then manhandle it from the mixer into a bucket, and then back to a bucket to wherever we're going. What I'd love to be able to do is get an auger conveyor from these wagons, directly feeding our mixer. Put the mixer on a cattle scale or a hog scale, so that I have an idea of the weight. That'll get me close enough within, let's say five to 10 pounds. Then I'd use my little scale like I've been doing with buckets and I would just scale the minerals or the additional supplements that we would add, then toss it in there. The reason for all this is, is that it gets tiring and taxing when I have to do 250 pounds of feed because I have to carry every single pound of that by myself. And yes, that's not terrible, but when it's 185 degrees out and you're sweating and it's dusty grain and you're covered in it and then you got a shower just to get it off of you and out of your nose and out of your hair and all that it's not it's not as fun as it could be and that's why i want to change this i want to make it easier i want to make it so that a five-year-old could come down here and do it i want to make it so that my grandmother could come down here and do it i don't want this to be any harder than it has to be and i'm always planning for that because i've always said to my wife I might not be here. You've got to be able to do every single thing I can do because I might not be around. And I'm not suggesting that my wife do everything that I've ever done. I'm just stating that I might not be around to do it for her. So my idea and the reason I haven't done it yet is I don't live in prime farm country like Iowa or Montana where everyone's got these baby augers um, sitting around. Although now I'm getting an idea of where to look for baby augers because I know they come on feed bins. Um, smaller feed bins, but I want to auger from the wagons, which here I'll take you guys over here real quick. Ideally, these wagons were flipped around the other way so that the mixer could sit up there on a concrete level surface on a scale. And then I auger from the end of this, put it into the mixer. It's already on a scale. The mixer starts to fill up. I can throw minerals in it whenever I want. I can start mixing it whenever I want. And then all I have to do manhandling wise is to put it in a bucket. But I got one better. This wagon, we usually put hog starter feed in for fair. And that is usually general feed, no mineral, no nothing to it. So I would li love to be able to do, let's just say, our own hog feed in this. I can do 500 to 1,000 pounds at a time real quick if that's all I had to do. Fill this guy up and then anytime we needed feed, we just come down here, fill a bucket and we're good to go. Yes, you're still filling a bucket, but there's the current system, fill it once, scale it, dump it, fill it twice to then dump it into our bin up at the house. Where now, in theory, if we really wanted to, we could take this wagon, if we change the roof, take it up to where the pigs are and just leave it and never have to put it in another bucket until we're ready to feed the pigs. <clears throat> if that's what we wanted to do. Um, so that's why I want to change this system. Now, the reason I haven't yet, and here, let me clean up some of this nonsense that I don't know what was moving around for me. Probably that. Hi, you. Um, the reason I haven't done that yet is I would love to find a two inch auger, but I don't want brand new because that's ridiculously expensive. And two inch augers haven't been made brand new in a very long time at least on a big farming scale yes they make them for feed bins yes they make them for hog feeders you know that are auger, auger style based hog feeders and such like that i, I understand that <clears throat> excuse me i'd love to be able to find something cheap and used so that i can just put it down here and then into my mixer i've thought about conveyors conveyors would work i could build one redneck real quick and easy out of a two by four and some pvc but I don't know what I want to use for conveyor belting. I can't use inner tubes. I watched one guy use inner tubes from a bike, but he had to glue three or four inner tubes together to make it wide enough. And then he had to glue five or six of those together to make it long enough. And I don't want to have to deal with that because that's a lot of maintenance. You know, I used to do maintenance. That's really dumb. This was a failed project of mine. A lot of folks will use a system like this for deer corn. And what they'll do is they'll put deer corn, seed corn in here, put a leaf blower on the back side of here, and it'll blow up a piece of PVC, and it'll blow into a, a feeder, you know, either a bin or a feeder or whatever. 
It doesn't work. Now, I don't know if it's this tee that I bought. Maybe this tee was the problem. It might have been packing up in there. I don't really know. But that didn't work out for me because I have really loose, dusty grain. And the problem was it would pack up tight and then it would blow up out of the container. Well, that's got some dirt and stuff in it, but <clears throat> trying to see. Yeah, see, it's real dusty and loose, so it was hard to do that system. It just made a giant dusty mess. So I can't do that. Somebody I saw made a PVC auger. They just took some flat PVC, wrapped it around a smaller, like, half-inch chunk, and then put it inside of a tube, a two-inch like I have over there. And that would work, except for how do you power it, how do you set it up with a funnel for over here i mean it's just a pain so but once i figure out a good solution i will definitely show you guys if i go through with it one thought i had is they actually make augers that sit on the bottom of these wagons that run off of a tractor hydraulic system i could never do that in here because i can't get a tractor in here but they make log splitters and log splitters are hydraulic so if i could get a log splitter to work whether that was with the pressure, with the flow, whatever, I don't know how I'd have to modify one, but I could use that. Now, yes, that would be an extra expense. That'd be an extra engine to have to run, but I mean, I'm looking to save a lot of time here because this takes me forever to do a batch of 80 pounds. But I just want to let you guys know what kind of goes through my mind, kind of the changes I want to do on the farm and things that I think about as I'm mixing up four or five or eight hundred pounds of piggy food so thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you on the next one